Hi everybody, it's Casey Williams. So my parents went out and bought a new car, and it really wasn't a surprise when they bought their third Chevy Equinox. They have really liked the two before them, and they really liked the new 2024 version. But I gotta tell you, the one I have this week is a little bit cooler than what my parents has. This is the RS edition. Let's give a look at it. Underneath the skin, there isn't much difference between my parents' Equinox and the one I have this week. Theirs is a luxury package, it has more chrome on it, it just looks a little fancier. But I really like the RS, I like the sportiness of it and the way it looks. You know, I like the black grille, I like the black bow ties, I like the RS logo. Again, this isn't a Camaro, but I think it looks all right, and especially, especially as a crossover. Come around the side, got the 19 inch black alloy wheels. And I also like the uh, LED headlamps. For 2023, they redesigned the front end a little bit, um, the narrow LEDs, but it looks really good, it looks sleek. I also like the side detailing a little bit. It's got a little bit of the Malibu look and the side, the side sculpting. Again, at the end of the day, it's just a you know, compact crossover. I think it looks good. I like the black lettering here in Equinox. Just really kind of tones it down just a little bit and just a little stealthier. Come around the back, smoke tail lamps, power hatch. And the one thing that my parents have noticed and I've noticed too, between their first two Equinoxes and this one, they had the previous generation, two of them. They're a little bit wider, a little bit longer, a little more space. You know, three people can get more comfortably in the back seat of it. Um, but I think this works out okay, and I think most people won't notice a difference. Let me say, you've got a pretty reasonably sized luggage compartment. The seat split, folds, so you can get bicycles in, and, and I think it's enough, enough space for most people. Well, moving inside, you might think you've actually got the luxury package. But when you look a little bit closer, you'll start seeing the red stitching, the red trim, the RS logos, the nice thick leather wrap steering with the red trim, and the, the black badging. So this is the RS, and it just gives a little bit of a sportier flair. But there are a lot of luxury features on this. This has the Bose audio system, has the dual pane sunroof up above, nice touch screen, you connect devices, you got Apple, you got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. I like the touch screen, it's easy to use, nice easy icons for audio phone, for climate control, very easy to use all that. Um, this is also very well loaded with all the safety gear. So it has adaptive cruise, it's got Mac emergency braking, lane keep assist, forward collision warning, blind spot warning, rear cross path detection. So pretty much the full suite of safety gear too. Well, the one thing my dad really noticed the first time he drove their new Equinox is the engine. The two previous vehicles they had, they had four-cylinder engines. And in the previous generation, you could get an optional six-cylinder. They did, and they got the four-cylinder. And it was okay. It got good gas mileage. But just felt a little bit underpowered when you're trying to... And they drive down to the Smoky Mountains quite a bit. And you start driving in the hills and the mountains. It just felt a little underpowered. This one feels a lot better. One's a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller vehicle. But this also has a turbocharged engine. So it's a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. So it's a pretty little engine, but it puts out 175 horsepower and 203 pound feet of torque. So it's a pretty peppy engine. And this has the six speed automatic transmission. So again, when you're kind of rising through the hills, the torque of that turbo kind of carries you through it. And it just, just makes it a lot, more, a lot easier to drive it and a lot more enjoyable to drive it. Gas mileage is still pretty good. It gets 24 miles per gallon the city, 30 on the highway. This has all wheel drive. So again, if you go front wheel drive, you can get a little bit better fuel economy. But I think, you know, especially living in the Midwest, I think having the four wheel drive, all wheel drive is, is a better choice. But beyond that, what I really like driving is, it feels pretty sporty. The suspension is, is tight, the steering is tight. It's not a sports car, it's not a BMW. But I think, again, for most people who are buying a compact crossover, not spending, you know, $60,000 for a vehicle, I think they're gonna find that this handles and drives pretty well. You drive in city traffic, you go over the bumps, you know, nothing shakes squeaks or rattles and it just it just handles pretty well um, if there's anything again anything I would complain about there's you know, quite a bit of plastic in here um, sometimes you get over really rough payment it can you know, shake a little bit but I, but I think generally I think it's pretty refined and I think it's pretty well engineered well my parents are pretty happy with their new, new Equinox I knew they would be they, again they had two of them they like them they're, they're Chevrolet people so I knew that they would like the vehicle quite a bit and they do like the turbo engine Again, on paper, it's a 1.5 liter engine. It's kind of small, but it produces enough power. It feels very nice in this vehicle and gets pretty decent gas mileage too. So overall, I think a very nice ride. But if I had my choice, I would get the RS package instead of the luxury package. I just think it looks cool and it's just for a little bit younger audience and I think that's what they're really aiming for. So let's talk about price. Well, the Equinox starts under $27,000. So pretty affordable for what this is. Keep it in mind, there's actually two Chevrolet crossovers that are smaller and less expensive than the Equinox. You get the Trailblazer or the new tracks. 
So if that's too expensive, there are other choices that offer a lot of the features on this vehicle. Um, this one, as equipped, everything on it, $38,220. Well, next week, we'll another fun car. Until then, storm forward.